So I finally got around to watching the, the Smoothie Guy video. I heard all about it on social media. And as a fan of Schadenfreude, this is just glorious on so many levels. So many levels. Now, okay, let, let's start from the beginning here, okay? Basically, a guy went in, got a smoothie. His kid has a peanut allergy. He specified with the attendants there that, you know, don't put peanuts in my stuff. And I know a lot of these places, um, having worked a service sector job when I was back in college, you're supposed to have like a separate blending a set of equipment for people that have food allergies so it's not contaminated because even if you you wash out something that has like peanuts in it the allergens can still remain in it and contaminate um you know a, a non peanut whatever that you make so this was all specified and the guy assumed that his son who had a very high risk peanut allergy was getting a drink that was non-contaminated and sure enough it was contaminated and the kid had to be rushed to the hospital. Um, I fully understand anger as a parent myself if I was to do something like this. Well, actually I probably wouldn't chance it if I go into a business like this. I would just like, you know, like let's do something else. But anyway, um, I understand the anger as a parent, but what this guy did and the layers behind it of like who this guy was, what he had on the line, what he was aware of and everything. Just make this one of just like the biggest internet instant downfalls that I have seen in a long time. This guy's life is is ruined. It, it, it's ruined. He's going to be known as that guy. Like he is more publicly known than he ever could have possibly imagined. And so the guy goes into this, I'm sure you all saw the video, but the guy, the guy goes in and confronts these teenage girls that are probably still in high school, shouts F-bombs at them, calls them immigrants and, and all this stuff, which, which, which by the way, I, I really, like if you put those girls in front of me and you had them talk and like look at them and said, which one's the immigrant? I'd be like, I don't know. They all look and sound like they're from this country. But this guy obviously has much more of a keen sense of spotting an immigrant than I do, but... I digress. Um, so the guy calls him an immigrant, tries breaking in the back door to like confront them. And, and one thing that people are talking about this video um, that I'd never hear anyone really address is what would the guy have done if like one of the girls said, I was the one that made it. What of it? Like, was he going to go back there and like punch her in the face repeatedly or something? Like what, what, what was it? What was his goal of like going there and finding the person like, he threw the shake at a girl that didn't do it, called her a bleeping immigrant and all this other stuff. I'm not going to curse the kids in the other room. Um, th that's what he did to the girls that weren't even involved. Like, what was he going to do? Like, grab the girl that did it by the hair and, like, like bash her head into the counter? Like, like really? Like, what, what, what was he actually going to do? Like he was willing to force himself into the back entrance of, of, of the, the the smoothie counter, like, and and the layer beyond this, like again, that makes the the shot in Freud in my heart just like beam with ten thousand watt light bulbs. Is this guy is a financial advisor in Connecticut of all places for Merrill Lynch? Now, those of you who don't understand what that is, who he is, and what he does, he has very high-end clientele in Connecticut. And um, those of you who don't know, the highest per capita income in this country is in Connecticut. Um, this guy deals with clients that have a minimum of a million dollars. So he's dealing with people that have tens of millions of dollars invested. He is, he is a baller in the, in the accounting industry. And he got fired. He got insta-fired. And he'll probably get a job with like, you know, some other accounting firm or something, some something that's other small time. But he call, he cost himself millions of dollars. And the whole thing of like, you know, his lawyer coming out now saying, like, you know, you know, he's really he's really not a mean guy. He he said some things in the heat of the moment. He's not a racist. Like, oh, oh, please. You, you, you don't let slip that someone's an effing immigrant if that isn't on your mind. Like, I don't care how angry you are, how drunk you are, how, how high you are. It's something like that. You, you don't let that slip. And this guy was sober but angered. And again, I fully understand him being angry. 
I might go back there myself and have words with someone. But am I going to throw stuff? Drop racial bombs? Like on, on someone's immigration status? Like or anything like that? But I mean, I would at least contact the police and say, hey... Can we get some sort of process going here? Because my son could be permanently damaged from an allergy reaction here. There has to be some sort of consequence for this when I specified for them not to do this. Anyway, just, I, I, I have no sorrow for this guy. No sorrow for this guy. And again, like I said, he's probably going to go on and get a job at some other smaller time firm. He ain't going to get no Merrill Lynch type of money. That's for damn sure. But... I, I'm going to predict one thing here, all right? I'm going to say that there is some lawyer that has been there, done that many a time, and they are in contact with these girls, and they are going to sue this guy for some sort of just emotional or just distress damage or something along those lines. Now, usually I'm against the quote-unquote ambulance chasing lawyers that just, just go after the rich because they're rich and trump up some charge and whatever, but... This guy deserves it. This guy deserves it. Go ahead, move into a common neighborhood with us common folk. I, 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 hope, I hope he has to live in a neighborhood with a bunch of immigrants. That's what he deserves. And I'm not saying, and again, I'm not saying even a poor neighborhood of immigrants. And I'm not saying immigrants live in poor neighborhoods or anything like that. Just, just a, a neighborhood full of immigrants. Like, well, I don't care if they're wealthy business owner immigrants. He deserves to live with immigrants in his neighborhood for the rest of his life. He deserves in the neighborhood, wherever those girls live, he should, he should live in their neighborhood. And then find out, like, no one in that neighborhood is even an immigrant. But anyway. Kid, what do you think of the smoothie guy? What would you think if someone threw a smoothie at you? Would you like that? Yes or no? He's shaking his head, yes. You would like that? He's shaking his head, yes. All right, well. All right, so my kid wouldn't sue. All right. That's what we've learned today. We're going to end this video with the fact that my kid would not sue if you threw a smoothie at him. <laughs> and he thinks it's funny. Anyways, smoothie guy. Um... Enjoy hopefully getting sued. Enjoy hope, hopefully getting noticed as the smoothie guy in public for the rest of your life. Hopefully, hopefully, you know, this gets around and that people notice him and he has to live the rest of his life as being that guy that is being despised by more people than will ever consider to love him in his life. That is all. Hold on. Can you say that again? What did you say? Yeah. I like this movie when someone falls in the face because I would eat it up. Because you would eat it up. Yeah. So you, you basically get a free smoothie. Yeah. Well, Only... I fall off around the house like a smoothie. You threw up around the house with the smoothie? No. After I drank the smoothie, I fall up. One time I fall up all over the house. Yeah. What does that have to do with a smoothie? Oh, just because mom isn't making them anymore. She's not making them anymore? Nope. Okay. Because I keep throwing up. Because you I keep drink, throwing up. And I drink them. All right. That's it, guys. That is all. For reals.